Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create the fire and smoke in Icron 8 with certain fire size, the fire area, and the fire directions, and also the intensity of the fire. All of these variables, you also can customize it to create your own fire. And start from now, I'm going to show you step by step here. Right, I, I already opened my Icron 8 here. First step, to create a fire, of course, I will, set, I will put my window workplace as standard. Click here, the set and also the particle, you should be able to see the legacy. Here you have a folder, fire and smoke folder. Right, to create a fire, first just drag the hellfire to the ground. And first, if you play, it will have a fire like this. And next up, just find a big smoke, drag, drag and drop together at the fire, then play. Now the next step is to customize the fire. Right, you have to click scenes and click the hellfire. Then here, this is the modify. Just loop, loop it and play. Now we are going to customize it right here. First, we can decrease the area, the emit volume, we put it as 100, just for example. The emit volume, it determines the area of the fire as well. This. Let's say now, if I control the fire in just 100 times 100 and next, just scroll up, adjust the size multiplier. The size multiplier, you can just make it bigger like this to make a suitable fire for yourself. Which scale of the fire is suitable for you? And then you can change the color of the fire. Just try to change it. For example, the green color. Now you still cannot see, see the color. Just because of the diffuse itself, it have a lot of the orange. If I put it as dark blue, okay. If this one you put it back to the white color, and for this one, you change the hue of this image, then you should be able to change the color. Right. This one, of course, you can just save it. Save it to the desktop, for example. And the file name, I put it as file image. This is the diffuse. Right. Next, you may just put a dummy at here. Choose it from the, from the set here. Where is the prop? The prop is at here. You can just put a, a really simple prop here. It's just a dummy. A 3D block. For example, just a simple ball. And next, you can just drag in, drag in the fire texture into, into here. Then you should be able to see the base color. Just right click it, then adjust the color. Then change the hue. For example, if you want to have a blue color, a blue fire like this. Then close it, right click. Once you can see this already, you can just save it. Save as a fire image green, for example. Green, save. Next, you back to the fire. The hellfire here. If you drag in the green fire image to replace this, now you can see the color of the fire already changed. It is really easy. You click the hellfire, the size multiplier. Now you can see you already changed change the 
diffuse color of the fire. Of course, by default, you can change it back to just the orange color. It's okay. Right now, you have the smoke as well. Later, we will just customize the smoke. And the ball, you can just delete it. This is just a demo. I will delete this ball. Back to the Hellfire here. Okay, you drag it down. You can adjust the height of the fire. This is 60. If you put it as 200, what will happen? Now you can see it will become a long fire. If you put it as 1000, then what will happen? The Hellfire. With 999 until now, it will become a really long fire. And by default, you can just put it really small, 50. 50 is well enough to show a fire. And next is the direction of the fire. This is the emit volume. And to change the directions, you can change the wind. For example, X, if you put it as 20,000, what will happen? Now that means the wind will blow to there. If you put it as 2,200, And 500. Now we can see the directions. This is the wind directions. At the same time, you can change the smoke direction as well. Just pause it first. If play. Then, if the y direction, you put it as negative 200, let's say. Now it will blow to that direction. 500, negative 200. If you put it as 100, then it will go to another direction. Just use the X and Y to control the direction. And you can ignore the Z because the Z is a vertical. And the, the next one is the smoke, the big smoke play. Then you can change the big smoke direction as well. Right, if this one you put it as 0, the wind also put it as 0. Wind you put it as 500 for example. It is going to, to just change together the direction. And then the, the volume here, if you put it as 50. This is the volume of the smoke. If this one's You put it as 1, right now, it is here, and also the smoke, you can change the multiplier, this is to control the size of the smoke, like this. how intense you want the smoke to be. And just now you already control the the directions. The wind maybe here put it as seven hundred to control the direction of the smoke. It must be tally with the fire. Two hundred, just seven hundred. If you put it as nine hundred, just trial and error to test the directions. It is for now. It look more. More logic, you can see all go to the same direction. And of course, the fire is too big. Maybe you want it to become a bigger smoke like this. Right now, everything look well already. This is the way on how can we customize the fire and smoke in Icon 8. The size of the fire and smoke, the area of the size of, of the fire and smoke and direction of the fire and smoke as well and also the intensity and that's all for today about my tutorial on how to create create a fire with customization of the directions of the wind and also the intensity of the fire and smoke and that's all for today thank you for watching
If you love my video tutorial and sharing, you all this tutorial and sharing are very helpful to 3D animation and game development. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you'll receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D animation and game developing. See you!